What we have today is we have a forum where not everybody agrees on everything, but where everybody does agree on one thing, and that is the imperative uh, for humanitarian action um, in line with humanitarian principles, and that the uh, international empathy uh, for the plight of our fellow human beings who are suffering as a result of this crisis must translate into an effective humanitarian response. Aware of, uh, of that uh, reality as well. The needs are um, food assistance for people who are, who are displaced, uh, the needs are medical um, uh, supplies, uh, particularly uh, given uh, those areas where uh, conflict has been occurring and uh, um, the medical services have been under tremendous uh, strain. We have um, seven observers on the ground today, two more arriving on Monday to bring those on the ground to nine. And during the course of next week, we hope that those that we are seconding from missions in the area who can move quickly will be there, and we will make the numbers up to 30 uh, sometime during the course of next week. The situation on the ground is not good, as we all know. Um, it's a very fragile ceasefire. There are casualties every day. There are incidents every day. And we have to do everything we can to stop what's going on, the killing, the violence in all its forms. As soon as the Security Council adopts a resolution authorizing up to 300 monitors on the ground, we will be ready to deploy very, very rapidly. Uh, when will they adopt it? We hope they do it within the next few days, two or three days. We are very keen, and the observers are very keen to get to Homs as quickly as possible. They have not, not been there yet. They've been in other locations.